Hello everyone! So I'm situated in a different area of my apartment because today I'm going to be doing an updated vinyl record collection. I haven't done one of these in two years and I have gotten quite a bit. I've been collecting for six years I think so obviously I don't listen to everything that I have anymore. I have a lot of records and obviously this doesn't reflect my entire music taste. I don't have everything I like on vinyl. If you want to know what I'm currently listening to, I'll leave a link to my Spotify down below. I have a Summer 23 playlist of all my current favorite songs. Anyways, we're gonna get into it because I have a lot. I'm not gonna show the color pressings, maybe of a few. I got one today that I want to show you because I'm so excited about it. I actually have everything organized in alphabetical order. I reorganized it a few months ago. Let's just get started. The only record I own from the 1975, Being Funny in a Foreign Language. It's so random that this is the only 1975 album I own on vinyl. But when it came out, I bought it. I have Antisocialized by Always. My favorite song on here is Dreams Tonight. It is it is a beautiful, amazing song, and I love it so much. This is actually the first record I ever bought, which is so random, but I have This Could Be Heartbreak by The Amity Affliction. Architects, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. Then I have Light We Made by Balancing Composure. This actually might be my favorite Balancing Composure album, which I know is probably an unpopular opinion because it's such a different sound change for them. But I just think this album sounds so fun. I love the sound of it. Then I have I Wish I Could Stay Here by Basement. Then I have Never Ask for Heaven by Bent Life. Awakening by Bless of Fall. I love Bless of Fall. This is actually the only Bless of Fall album I own, which is also so weird. That's just how it goes sometimes. You just own random albums by artists or bands you really like. And I happen to have this one from Bless of Fall. But I do really like the album art on this one. No Matter the Cost by Blind Justice. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Blink-182, but I love Blink-182 so much. I grew up listening to them, and I just love them so much. So I have Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, which is actually the only Blink-182 album I own. I got this one because it was a colored pressing. Then I have Suede Swatted by... Boston Manor. I've had this for like a billion years and I still don't know how to pronounce this. That's crazy. My favorite song in here is Trap Nerve. I haven't listened to this in a really long time. I think I'm gonna go back and listen to Trap Nerve because I love that song. Then I have their debut LP, Be Nothing. Science Fiction by Brand New. This is 100% definitely not my favorite brand new album, but I got it at Urban Outfitters for $15. So that's why I bought it. Okay, moving on to my Bring Me The Horizon collection. Bring Me The Horizon had their albums repressed on translucent orange vinyl and I bought most of their albums during that time frame that they were for sale. So first I have This Is What The Edge Of Your Seat Was Made For, The Iconic Count Your Blessings, and the album art also slays. I have the misprinted version of Suicide Season. It says Bring Me Me The Horizon. This album though is so iconic. Every song on here is so good. Like it was written in blood, Diamonds Are Forever, The Saddest Will Never End. This whole album is just so good. Then I am missing Semp Eternal, but the next one I have is That's The Spirit. And then this is the last Bring Me The Horizon album my own. I haven't bought any of their newer records. Next, I have The Queen, Britney Spears, Baby One More Time. I'm pretty sure this is the Urban Outfitters pressing. Yeah, it is. It's pink and it's slay. I don't remember what this album is called and it does not say- oh! I think I just remembered. I think this is good to feel. I think. I know it's candy for sure. I just can't remember what the album's called, but yeah. <laughs> okay, next this band is really cancelled, but I have Capsized Angst in My Veins and the essence of all that surrounds me. I used to love Capsize so much, which is so random, but they are very canceled. <laughs> Next I have The Balcony by Catfish and the Bottleman. I love this album. If you're on Tumblr, you know this album. And honestly, to this day, I still listen to this album all the time. It's so good. Fallout is an amazing song. I love this album so much. I actually have no idea what happened to Catfish and the Bottleman. I don't know. But I love this album. Moving on, I have As You Please by Citizen. This was their tour edition that they printed. And I love this album by Citizen. In the middle of it all, Jet, As You Please, Ugly Luck. Yeah, this whole album is so good. Next, I have Forever by Code Orange. I actually haven't listened to this album in so long, but when it came out, I was super obsessed with it. Next, I have How the Gods Chill by Cold World. This isn't my favorite Cold World album, but it is very good, and yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> then I have Tragedy Will Find Us by Counterparts, You're Not You Anymore by Counterparts. Then I have the Space EP by The Devil Wears Prada. I used to love this EP so much. Then I have Transit Blues by The Devil Wears Prada. I also really love this album, but I'm pretty sure most people hated it because it didn't sound like how their normal music sounds. Then I have Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. I was obsessed with this album when it came out. I think I over listened to it because I have not listened to this in a really long time. But when this came out, I was obsessed. 
Then I have from the Unforgiving Arms of God by End. Pretty Low by Expire, Super Cancelled. With Regret by Expire. Then I have Springtime and Blind by Fiddlehead. This album is unreal. I love this album so much. Honestly, you just need to listen to the whole album, but if you haven't listened, best songs. In my opinion, Head Hands, Lay Low. Those are probably my top two. Then I have One Last Prayer by Forced Order. I also love this album. Tears Will Fall is my favorite song on here. Then I have Turncoat by Foundation, USA Hardcore by Freedom, Paramount by Fury. Then I have Beautiful Garbage by Garbage. I love Garbage so much. My dad used to listen to them when I was growing up. This was like the anniversary edition of this album. It's colored. I'm so happy I own it. My favorite song on here would have to be Cup of Coffee. It's so good. Then I have Cold by Gideon. Mass Murder by God's Hate, Adornment by Grayscale, Soul Structure by Higher Power. Then I have Badlands by Halsey, which honestly, I don't know why I bought this. I actually have never liked Halsey, but everyone was so hyped on Halsey and hyped on this album that I think I just felt like I had to buy it. I don't know what my thought process was. I was like, maybe I'm missing something. And I felt like I was missing out, so I bought it because everyone owned this record back in the day. Then I have Cost of Living by Incendiary. This album is unreal. I love it so much. Next, also from Incendiary, I have Thousand Miles Stare. Also an amazing album. Then I have For Those Who Fear Tomorrow by Integrity. Only Self by Jesus Peace. Laugh Tracks by Knock Loose. Hope Aesthetic by Knuckle Puck. Okay, moving on to Lotus Butte. I thought I had way more but I only have two. I know a lot of people think Lotus Beauty is cringe, but I don't care because I love Lotus Beauty so much. Okay, so first I have Never Come Undone by Lotus Beauty and Koji, Sunday Morning at a Funeral. Also, in case you don't know who Lotus Beauty is, if you like poetry, you'll definitely like Lotus Beauty. Then I have Somewhere at the Bottom of the River between Vega and Altair. Yeah, I mean, iconic. Such small hands, everyone knows that song. Like, come on. I really thought I owned Wildlife, but I guess I don't. Moving on to my Lana Del Rey collection, my queen. So starting off, I have Lana Del Rey, aka Lizzie Grant. This is her unreleased music. I'm pretty sure, don't hate me Lana stands if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this was her album before Born to Die and then it got pulled. But I'm so happy I own this because obviously it's kind of annoying to have to listen to unreleased Lana, so having it on vinyl is just so good. Okay, then I have two copies of Born to Die, which is her next album, um, because one is a black pressing and then one is a red pressing. Listen, I'm there's a lot of gaps in my Lana Del Rey vinyl collection, but that's because I'm trying to only get colored pressings. Anything that's a black pressing, I'm pretty sure was a gift because I need to have a slay Lana Del Rey vinyl collection. I can't just be owning the black records. So. That's why I'm missing a lot because I'm just trying to wait and get colored pressings. But yeah, so now I own two. <laughs> then I own the Paradise EP, which honestly I kind of consider this and Born to Die part of the same album. Body Electric, Gods and Monsters. Also the cover of Blue Velvet on here goes crazy. Then I own Ultraviolent. I actually did pre-order the repressing of like the Urban Outfitters pressing of Ultraviolence, but Ultraviolence is my favorite Lana Del Rey record, so I'm so excited to get that new pressing. Then, obviously I have her newest album, Did You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard. This is the Target pressing. Just look at her. I love this album so much. Let the Light In, Paris, Texas, and Fishtail would probably have to be my favorite songs off of this one. Moving on, I have Lake Pacific, self-titled I think. Distant Like You Asked by Lake Pacific. Can't Stop, Won't Stop by The Main. Iconic. American Candy by The Main. And lastly for my The Main collection, I have Lovely Little Lonely. This one's a trifold, it's kind of crazy. Then I have Monsters in the Closet by Mayday Parade. I was obsessed with this album when I was like 12 or 13 or 14. I don't know, one of those ages. Then next I have Still by Mazzy Star. Unfortunately, this is the only Mazzy Star record that I own. And this only has four songs on here. Fly at the Winter Harbor is so good. I love Mazzy Star so much. I mean, iconic. I have Cry Baby by Melanie Martinez. My Mitski collection is sad. I need more, but I have Puberty 2 by Mitski. And then the Laurel Hell demos. Kind of crazy I don't have Laurel Hell, but I have the demos. <laughs> but I did see that Urban Outfitters is pressing all of Mitski's albums on colored vinyl. 
so I will be purchasing those. Mitski is just an amazing, beautiful songwriter, and I love her so much. I have Absolute Light by Misery. This is crazy, but I have Don't Look Up or Look Up, I don't know, by Malton. I'll Keep You in Mind from Time to Time by Mooseblood. Creatures by Motionless and White, an iconic album. Feel Something by Movements. The Fatal Feast by Municipal Waste. Bleach by Nirvana. This is so random that this is the only Nirvana album I own. I need to get some more. <laughs> then I have Coaster by Nofex but it says frisbee. <laughs> my Orphan Year is the best song on this album, in my opinion. Then I have The Decline by No Effects, Torture Culture by No Warning, Restoring Force by Of Mice and Men, <laughs> Randomly, the only Panic at the Disco album I own, but Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, <laughs> Riot by Paramore. I love Paramore. For some reason, this is also the only Paramore album that I own on vinyl, and I need to get more because that's not okay. Then next, I have Ire or I-R-E, I don't know, by Parkway Dive. <laughs> Moving on to my Pierce the Veil collection. I have the anniversary edition of a flare for the dramatic. This is crazy, I'm so happy on this. It's 29 out of 500. The regular A Flare for the Dramatic. My favorite song on here would probably be UK, Yeah Boy and Dollface, Chemical Kids, and Mechanical Brides, Drella. I don't know, this whole album. This is my favorite Pierce the Veil album, it's so good. And then I have Selfish Machines by Pierce the Veil. Favorite songs would be Southern Constellation slash The Boy Who Could Fly, Collide with the Sky by Pierce the Veil. I'm Low on Gas and You Need a Jacket is the best song on this album, in my opinion. Then I have Misadventures by Pierce the Veil. Then lastly, I have their newest album, Draws of Life. Didn't really love this one, but of course I had to buy it because I love Pierce the Veil <laughs> and I had to complete my collection. But I don't have a favorite off this one. Then next I have Manifest Decimation by Power Trip and also by Power Trip I have Nightmare Logic. Then I have They Don't Have to Believe by Punch. The Dream is Over by Puff. This album is so good. If this tour doesn't kill you, I will. DVP, Old Wounds, Familiar Patterns. Time point. I literally just named like the whole album. <laughs> All We Know of Heaven, All We Need of Hell by Paris. I Couldn't Be Weaker by Rarity. Put Yourself Back Together by Real Friends. Hiding Games by Safe to Say. Colorblind by Seaway. Also by Seaway, I have Vacation. Love this album so much. I have Nonstop by Sick of It All. Clobberin' Time, Karis One Edition. So good. Us versus Them, Scratch the Surface. World Full of Hate. Then I have I'm Alive and Everything I Touch by Silverstein. Canadian classic. Let's Cheers to This by Sleeping with Sirens. Forgettable by Sorority Noise. Mediocre at Best. Blonde Hair, Black Lungs. Joy Departed by Sorority Noise. The Finer Things by State Champs. Under Soil and Dirt by The Story So Far. What You Don't See by The Story So Far. Empty Space, Things I Can't Change. Small Talk, All Wrong. This album is so good. Then I have Self Titled also by The Story So Far. Everything Goes Numb by Shirley Manifesto. This album is so good. A Moment of Silence, A Moment of Violence. The Big Sleep, All Smiles by Sworn In. Then I have Tables Will Turn by Take Offense. A classic, I have Big Kiss Goodnight by Trapped Under Ice. This album is amazing. Then I have Men to Move On by Trophy Eyes. Chemical Miracle by Trophy Eyes. This album is so good. I was obsessed with this album when it came out. American Dream by Trophy Eyes. I didn't really like this one, but it was a pre-order, so that's why I have it. Heaven's Too Good For Us by True Love. A classic, I have Peripheral Vision by Turnover. And then I also have Good Nature by Turnover. Cure Devotion. Bonnie, Rhythm and Melody, Sunshine Type, this album is so good. Then next I have Nonstop Feeling by Turnstile and Time and Space by Turnstile. I somehow still haven't bought their most recent album. I do need to purchase that. <laughs> next I have If I Can't Listen to Unified Right in Heaven, then send me straight to hell. Yes, I had to read that. I haven't listened to this in a really long time. Next, I have All Hell by Vanna. Arizona by Vane. Pain Again by Burials. I just bought this today. <laughs> which was such a slay, but I have Wise Blood and In the Darkness, Hearts Aglow. This album is beautiful. I actually recently just got into Wise Blood and I'm kind of obsessed, but I got this today and the record is beautiful. I'm so excited to spin this. Then lastly for 12 inches, I have Who the Hell is Wild Side by Wild Side. I'm gonna go over the seven inches really quick because I don't have that many. I have Vane, I don't remember what this is called, but they're like first EP thing. Changes by Mail Spec, Magic with a Smile by Illusion, Sensory Link to Pain by Primal Right, and Calendar Days slash Indecisive by Knuckle Puck. That wraps up my entire vinyl collection for now. I obviously am still buying records. Try to do vinyl record collections update. Um, I'm sorry this is a really long video. I hope you enjoyed. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.